You had your shirt. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, it's kind of in the... Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I want to show you, it looks all hard. Well, there's only two measures to learn. It's this one going up and this one coming down. And then you can look at your hands. Now, what it is, the first one is like this. This is a finger builder. So we just have a third here, and then it's just a step down, and then we're ready for the next. So let's see if you can do this C, E. These are all my steps. Because we need to build our fingers to be strong, and they also need to really behave themselves so that they are going to play the keys the way they need to. And I notice that this is the, often the way you play, flat. So, so in other words, you have to go slow enough to place the fingers correctly. Let's see if you can do that from C, E, C. No, the wrist should be uh, straight. Yeah, but I think my um, my elbow was a bit too long. Okay, the elbows are easy by our side. They don't enter into this. This is just fingers, right? So when you are playing, the wrist should be level, right? Not here, not here. And the fingers should be rounded. So do your left hand once more, five, four. that you don't even realize that this is caving in here. Notice that? Mm -hmm. And so we have to go slow enough to... Look 
reading, but just some. We just patterns. have the two measures yeah. and the right fingering, and now it's going to go slow and even where we really pay attention to how we approach the piano. And hopefully this will build your fingers in the right way so that when we play harder pieces, we can play them well. Okay, so we're going to hopefully straighten out the problem with your approach because you, you often are very flat-fingered. Okay, it's like climbing the mountain. You know, the guide is saying, put your foot here and here and here. Otherwise, you could fall. Even with that, sometimes, you know, you could. So, you have to be very careful in how you practice. So, this is not speed. This is finger building. Think of it that way. Okay? Uh, how long We're do doing you number speed? one. Number one. Okay? Well... We're just doing number one, hands alone, right, slow. Yeah, we're not concerned about uh, the blackness of the page. You know, sometimes that translated in our mind to difficult or yes, hard. Yes, this looks right, and it's not. It's not. This is not hard. No. Because we're going to take it little by little, and so okay, mm -hmm. okay. So pan and what? Uh, pan and number one, and measure one, one and measure two hands alone. Well, it's just pan and hands alone, and there's only two patterns. These, yeah. Yeah, and the, once we learn the pattern, and what are you doing? Uh, You're watching the. And watching my to see how the fingers are placed. And you can use the, the iPad to see how you did as well. Okay, and now, what is the key that you're doing? Because you didn't bring it today. Did I say C major, A minor, or something like that? What did I yeah, say? I think you did that. Just like sort of Well, what did you do at home? I did C major. Did you do A minor yet? No. Okay, so I'm gonna say A minor. Starting A to A, white keys. Okay. <laughs> a. Mm -hmm. One, two, three thumb. See how flat your fingers are now? And bad. Okay. So that's one octave. We call this the natural minor, right? Now let's do the harmonic where we have the skip. One, two, three. One, two, three. G sharp. There you go. Remember that? Oh, yes. You know it. in book four, I mean book, the book you should have had, mm -hmm. F sharp, G sharp, cancel, no, cancel coming down, all white, so is that new to you? Is it new to you? No. Okay, so there's three forms of the minor, right? There's the melodic, can, cancel coming down. I have a small A here, and you need to do the level six phases. There's arpeggio, there's the broken chord, root and inversions, block chord, and the cadence. Yes. For A minor. Good. And what is our sight reading now? I didn't see that come. Yeah, I think you started me over again, page one. Yeah, Which is um, the book? Pay of book three, is it? Well, I I look and see what you should be having. Oh. I don't know. It's 
think like book five I have here. Yeah, book five uh, you wanted for my brother. Okay, and for you? Uh, we have uh, book three. Okay. So you is book three. You're book three. Okay. So would you bring it next time? Yeah. Book three and you one a day? Yes. Do you remember um, what page you're on now? I have to do page two. I do page one. Okay, page two. Uh, one a day, just one example a day. Okay. All right, and now the pieces that you played the other night, uh, walk me through that. How did you feel about the balance? I feel that the balance was great. Good. Um, that was for the Schumann? Uh, yes, but I don't think that, that I did the dynamics very well. I think I could have done them better. It was sort of dull. No, not, not dull, but it didn't really make sense because at one point I was really, really, really loud. And then I was soft. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I, didn't, I mean, sometimes it goes well, but other times it doesn't. And this piece it goes well a lot, but I don't think I put it in the right places. Okay, these are the memory pieces that I'd like you to keep up. Will you tell me what they are going to be? These are pieces that you have finished. These are not new pieces. Um, so there's a sonic key now, but... Okay, well... That one. Okay. Then there's the... Sh Is that Diabelli, I think? Yes. Okay. And there's the Schumer. What is that one that, um, Happy, happy Farmer? Happy Farmer, okay, I'll just say Farmer. Yeah. And what else? And there's the Bartok, uh, the dance. The dance. Right, okay. And then, um, anything else you want to keep up? These are pieces that are finished. Can I, can I include, uh, mm -hmm. Concerto? Yeah, we, or like one of the. Well, I'm I'm gonna put that separately. These are just solos. Um, so we got three down that you're gonna keep up, right? I also know this very well. So there's four that you, Deal Valley, Farmer, White, White, uh, Wild Rider, and the um, Bartok Dance that you can keep up. Yeah. Now, the new pieces, we did give you a new one yes. in the Schumann. I actually have practiced it a lot. I was I can, I can play hands together up to here, Okay. but then I can't play hands together here. And oh. I'm kind of can oh. I play for it. Yes. Uh -huh. Can I count out? out? Yes.
play from the beginning. Yeah. How about the left? Mm-hmm. 
we have fingers, so make sure you're doing them. That wouldn't be it, would it? Yes, that's easy. <laughs> say that it's hands alone carefully for the rhythm, all of it, all of it, hands alone for the right what? Or for the right um, rhythm. Rhythm and what? Fingering. fingering, because we know we have to get those to get everything right, so fingering. Now, I oh. said hands alone and then slowly hands together, but but before you put the hands together, make sure the fingerings are right. Now, we talked about the penguins, didn't we? Didn't we? No, we just told me at the end of the lessons that... Um, We're going to get the yes. penguins next time? Yeah, you never should. How do penguins walk? Um, they kind of waddle. Yeah, they do. I love penguins. I do, too. And so, there are all kinds of penguins. Yes. Really, um, there's some in warmer climates, and then there's the imperial or the king. Those are my favorites. And they're way down in Antarctica, so they look like little wet, uh, little um, head waders or something yes. with the tacks on and everything. Right. Sort of like um, bowling pants. Right. Now, Mr. Previn, uh, I want you to Google him. He's still alive, and he was born in Los Angeles. I I'm think. pretty sure there's. A little bit about him. Look, maybe yeah, they sometimes they give him about it, but sometimes they don't. Yeah. No. So, uh, so you can go on the web and see. He still he learned to play classical music and jazz, and he's a wonderful pianist and composer and conductor. He has conducted the Pittsburgh Symphony, and you know, wonderful uh, musician. So he's still going around giving concerts, as far as I know, with the jazz. So he has written the, a series of these pieces to um, have all kinds of different character, style, um, and the penguins, he has adjusted the uh, meters to represent their waddle. And so, uh, let's just look at the, the uh, right hand part. Now, no, it's four eight, so four beats. If we think the eighth note get a count, gets a count, this is beat one, this would be two, this would be three, and this would be the four. Do you see that? Four eighths. Two eighths equals a six. A two sixteenths equal of, uh, an eighth, right? One and two. No, one. 
one and two and three and four and that's how we would count that. So one and two. He's got three here and four here. Okay? So that's fun. One. Except the notes change here. Let's do four.
broke the bass. from here to here and then we'll play from here to here then we'll add the staccato notes so here we go a b no did i say to play the staccato notes what did i just say play the legato notes starting with a two on a two on a two on a isn't that a right is that finger two Yes, because they're all staccato. Yeah, no, it's not. 
articulation, the staccatos, the slurs, the crescendo diminuendo. So I think we'll say what? Hands alone for now? Yes. So we want it very precise because penguins are precise, right? Yeah. Just now, what did you do? I didn't make the last one. Staccato. Yes. And less. the second movement of your concerto, which uh, is, should be memorized now, is that right? Is that right? Yes. Okay, now, this is on your yes. iPad. Oh, God. What, is, what is happening? Okay, I ask you a question and you kept playing. What, what is the matter? I don't know. You said, oh my. I mistake that I tell Temple more than I'm thinking about the balance. Would you play your here? Here's the book. Play your left hand because I think this is our problem is too loud. Yeah, it can be faster, but it needs to be less. How about? Uh, you know, anytime we start this, you seem to speed off in the distance here. Okay, so let's play the thirds, just the left hand, and see if you can, no, just the left hand, see if we can make it sound the way we want to. In other words, supportive, but not booming out above. Good, all right, now play the right hand. It's the tune. Okay, did we get the rhythm right? Did we? Okay. 
Okay, so we have a rest there, right? What, what is it? <coughs> it you'd play better. You played them clearer, more articulate um, um, last week, I think. I think that, yeah. Try it so that it's very clear. No, no, I can go ahead. No, no. together and now what are you listening for? Okay, stop now and think about how it sounded. How did it sound? I think I still have to make my left hand a little bit more uh, louder, softer, the softer. same. What do you think? A little bit softer. I'll try it again then. into the trio, mm -hmm. not on the measure that you just finished. Okay, good. I right, have a little tea break here. Yes. Okay. This is a, what?
these are just two eighths. They turn into two eighths. Two and three. program already. So for concerto we'll say stress movement two. Okay? Yeah, you can gather, gather everything up and turn off your iPad. Thank you so much for getting the iPad today. That should help us. Students. Yes. Practice with it. Put it right next to you. Yes. <laughs> 